In this problem, we're going to find the inverse Laplace transform of this function here. So we're going to start by breaking it up into two different Laplace transforms. We're going to write it as s over s squared minus 9 and then plus 1 over s squared minus 9. So we have the inverse Laplace of, so s over this piece here. So we have s over s squared minus 9 and then plus, and then inverse Laplace, uh, and then the one over all of this. So one over s squared minus nine, just like that. And now we're going to use some formulas. So these formulas are very, very powerful. So the first one we're going to use tells us that if we have the inverse Laplace transform, of s over s squared minus k squared, that's going to be equal to the hyperbolic cosine of kt. And the other one tells us if we have the inverse Laplace transform of k over s squared minus k squared, that's going to be equal to the hyperbolic sine of kt. And I have these memorized uh, as follows. So I memorized that because they're hyperbolic, they have a minus here. If they're regular trig functions, the formulas are the same, except there's a plus. Also, cosine and cosinch have the S, sine and cinch have the K. So nice little memory tricks. Okay, so here we can apply the formula right away for this one. So it'll just be K is three here, right? Because nine is three squared. This will be cosinch of 3t. And then here, we can't apply it yet. We're missing the k. So I'm just going to put it there and then take it away. Boom. Talk about cheating, right? <laughs> so, right, because they cancel. So you can just put the 3 there. So it matches, right? This is, this is a 3 squared. So now this will be plus 1 third. And then this is a cinch, cinch 3t. And that is the final answer. So I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.